January 2009, ladder 26 barrels down a hill, plowing through a major intersection with no brakes. The truck slams into a building, killing Lieutenant Kevin Kelly and injuring two firefighters. Investigators found brake failure caused by improper maintenance was partially to blame, and the accident exposed major flaws in the department's vehicle maintenance program. The city overhauled the fleet maintenance division, replacing firefighters who were performing maintenance with licensed mechanics. But this report obtained by Five Investigates calls that move an abject failure, suggesting the hard lessons from Lieutenant Kelly's death have not been learned. Daily inspections have been abandoned. Preventive maintenance is in disarray. Some trucks more than 200 days past due. No one knows how to use the computerized fleet management system and tests on engines to make sure they pump out enough water at the right pressure weren't properly done. When you look at out of a total of probably 60,000 inspections or tests that should have been done on the equipment that less than 500 were done, that's problematic. Commissioner Joe Finn launched a review after hearing about safety concerns from firefighters. Rich Paris heads up the firefighters union. They are concerned when they're going out the door. Is that truck door going to open up? Am I going to have brakes? Can I stop at that red light? Will I get water when I show up to a building fire? The maintenance department allowed this heat damaged ladder to stay in service for a year, putting quote firefighters and civilians at risk. The department dodged a bullet. There's also plenty of waste. The department paid about $200,000 for a mobile repair truck that sat unused for years. The report also questions the purchase of 22 engines, including this one from the manufacturer KME, at a time when problems with their motors were well known in the industry. These trucks are consistently out of service, costing the city time and money. Many of those repairs were under warranty and fixed by Boston fire mechanics. But Fleet Safety Director Peter Kakritis admitted that he never sent the manufacturer a bill so the city could be reimbursed. Kakritis resigned nine days before this report was finished. I was completely uh, at my wit's end, why equipment wasn't up to snuff, why all these safety concerns are coming forward. How much of a risk? Oh, it's a big risk. It's a big risk, I mean, for the person inside the building and for our firefighters. You can't put a dollar sign on someone's life. And we reached out to Mr. Cockeritas, but our calls weren't returned. The commissioner has already made changes and new trucks are on the way. The maintenance division's overtime cost taxpayers half a million dollars last year alone. The criminal investigation is ongoing. Kathy Curran, 5 Investigate.